News coming in from Africa today, their militants from the terrorist group Al-Shabaab claim to have killed 60 soldiers in Somalia. Seems they rammed a suicide car bomb into the gates of an African Union base and then fought their way through. That base is guarded by Kenyan troops, but the spokesperson for the Kenyan army couldn't confirm the number of casualties. Al-Shabaab, of course, is a terrorist organization that's pledged allegiance to Al-Qaeda three years ago. They're fighting the internationally recognized federal government right now in Somalia. It's estimated that the jihadist group has up to 9,000 members. Let's get latest on this. Tamela Motatuan is joining us now uh, live. Hi there. Uh, take us through what has happened here. I gave our viewers some details. Uh, give us a bit more. Absolutely. Well, Kevin, as you have mentioned, Al-Shabaab has run over, of course, the African Union military base in Somalia, in Kenya, killing more than 60 people, 60 soldiers to be more specific. However, as you mentioned, um, Kevin, that the Kenyan spokesperson cannot confirm this number. Now, witnesses, however, that have, of course, witnessed this ordeal have also mentioned that the Al-Shabaab military um, fighters have put their flag at the camp, of course, um, taking complete control of the camp, so we speak. Now, Kevin, if you remember, um, Al-Shabaab also took over, of course, Somalia just last year in June, killing 30 people. In September, 30 people also were killed. And in October of the same year last year, Al-Shabaab fighters also pledged allegiance, um, of course, with the um, ISIL. And they've also um, just also occupied north of Africa in parts of Libya as well as parts of Egypt. And now they seem to have made it through to Somalia in Kenya, in ensuring that they have some sort of control and foothold over um, Africa, specifically the east and the north. Tamala Matatuane, thanks for the update there.